right, guys, we are pleased to be joined in studio now by Amy Wilson. She is the president of the PJ Tour Wives Association. First of all, a welcome to our humble little home. I know you're happy to get out of uh, the upper Midwest where uh, Mark right now is like this. It's about <laughs> 10 below. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Well, it's good to have you. I, I know this is an exciting week for you. All the members of the board uh, of the Wives Association are with you this week. You've got your new book, a 25th anniversary book, which is a beautiful uh, picture book. It gives people an idea of the history of the association. For you, mm. how did you get involved and how did you ascend all the way to the presidency? You know, um, Many moons ago, I worked in, um, as a consultant. Um, fast forward, I'm out on tour with Mark, traveling full time. We, you know, we travel 25, 30 weeks a year. And I had gotten involved with the PGA Tour Wives Association, which, you know, 15 to 20 events a year where we're going out into communities, we're lifting up children and their families, and every week is, is a different event that we're doing. And I really loved the work that we were doing. I loved making a difference in the community while we were there for the golf tournament. And it was really Dory Faxon mm -hmm. that was the president um, at the time, and she said, you should run for the board because I was there every week at every event and I decided to do it and I joined the board in my first year I was vice president of fundraising and then Dory rolled off as president and I assumed the president position and it's been wonderful because I've been able to take my business background and apply it to the association and um, and spend my time while I'm traveling with my husband making a difference and giving back and that's what all the wives love is we get an opportunity to use our talents and give back while we travel. Now you're traveling not only with uh, with Mark, but you're yeah. traveling with three young sons. We often ask the players what are the challenges of, of having a busy schedule. What are the challenges for you with, with these three young kids and trying to do the charity work that you do as well? You know, it's interesting because you start with one and then we had two and <laughs> now we have three. And what's wonderful is there's so many wives that have you know gone before and that I have that great resource to say how did you do this how did you do that or if you have a sick kid I, I always have a wife I can call that will help me out um, and whether they've been to a doctor in that town the year before or uh, they happen to have some you know medicine that I might need to use or a humidifier or whatever it is you know we really rely on each other um, and we are you know we are a traveling family ourselves but the but we're a traveling family as a tour as a whole too. So you're traveling, you're taking care of three kids, and you have what seems to be a full-time job. I, I read that it was it was it's been so tough. I mean, this is a, a huge requirement, and you to the point where you were you were considering stepping down, and it was Mark who convinced you to to stay involved. Correct? I did. I did. I was pregnant. We were going to have a third child, um, and it, you know. It, it, I probably put about 20 hours a week into this in addition to traveling full time with the kids and Mark is so incredibly supportive uh, helping me out with the kids before and after his practicing and his his rounds that I can go you know do it at an event or an interview and that kind of a thing and I thought you know maybe it, my, my time is up and he said no he says you've been doing this you've been preparing for the 25th anniversary preparing uh, you know getting this book written and all these things that you're doing to to celebrate the work that all the wives have been doing since 1988 he's like you gotta you gotta stay on so he really did encourage me to stay on That's cool. And Amy, this week, uh, being at the PJ Merchandise Show, I mentioned the book, yeah. uh, Beyond Fairways and Greens, and it's a beautiful book, yeah. uh, and it shows so many of the great families that are on the PJ Tour, past, present, and as far as the cooking exhibition, what exactly is that all about? Well, you know, we're so blessed. Uh, a couple years ago, I met with Ted Bishop, who's the president of the right. PGA of America, and I told him more about our association and, and, and about our anniversary in the book that we were writing. And it, it is. It celebrates the last 25 years. It celebrates the charities we've been able to impact. But more important, it gives a bigger picture of life on tour. Talk, you know, we have 134 tour families from, you know, Nicholas Palmer player to Ricky Fowler. Um, <laughs> talking about life on, on tour and family photos and recipes and everything. Uh, so the PGA of America gave us a booth, which was such a blessing, and KitchenAid heard about it, and they built a booth next to us. So this partnership between the tour wives, PGA of America, and KitchenAid, um, we're going to be doing cooking demonstrations, and we have wives and players throughout the whole show doing cooking demonstrations in the KitchenAid booth. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be featuring, obviously, recipes 
from the book. So we'll have to stop by. Yeah, absolutely. Are you ready to come in? I just oh, you'll on have to come by. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Well, from the Ronald McDonald uh, Foundation yeah. to, to blessings in a backpack, you guys have impacted a lot of of lives of, of people, young people especially. Thanks so much for what you've done, and, and congratulations, Amy. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. Thanks. Keep up the good work. Thank and you. if you want more information about Beyond the Fairways and Greens, go to GolfChannel.com/slash. Morning Drive. Folks, continuing here.